Hi guys, so welcome to Derive again. So in this video, we're going to uh, discuss and continue our machine design journey. And the topic for today is chapter 10, clutches. And this is a past board exam problem. So tara, wala nang paligoy-ligoy. And let us start answering past board exam questions. And okay, so sa nakagawian, bago tayo... Sumabak sa pagsagot ng mga question, let us have a recap or review of formulas for clutches. But first, let us define the clutches first. So a clutch is a mechanical device that engages and disengages power transmission, especially from a drive shaft or driving shaft to a driven shaft. In the simplest application, clutches connect and disconnect to rotating shaft. So the ang uh, pinaka-highlighted na definition ng clutches or highlighted na words is the word uh, connect and disconnect or engages and disengages. So, ano nga ba ito? No? So, makikita natin. Uh, so, there are two types of clutches muna na dinidiscuss during our machine design days in college or sa board exam and that was disc or plate clutch. Yan, yan yung tura. And of course, the cone clutch. So there are many types of clutches. No? May mga hydraulic, may mga electrical, and so on and so forth. Pero uh, due to uh, board exam purposes lang or review purposes, these are the two useful type na din discuss. Okay, so pakita natin. So this part, ah, mag-iba nga tayo ng ano? Na... Tinta. Yeah. So this is, uh, kunyari ng rotate ito, so you have your RPM here. And syempre ito, ayan, yan yung pair of clutches. Okay, so that was your clutch that uh, engage and disengage power transmission, no? especially from a drive shaft to a driven shaft. So let us assume this is the drive shaft and this is the driven shaft. This is the driving shaft and this is the driven shaft. So basta may dalawang shaft na kinonek and disconnect ng clutches na ito. So syempre may spring dyan. And syempre may key dito. Yan. Okay, so key. Yan. So may clutch, may key, may spring. And of course, shaft ito, rotating. So ang pinagkaiba ng disc or plate clutch sa cone clutch is that simply... Itong cone clutch ay may naka-angle yung kanyang mga clutches. So that was represented by alpha and will be discussed later. And syempre meron pang isa na uh, ipapakita mamaya which is the so-called face width. So lagay na natin dito face width. Kumbaga yan yung piece nga nung clutch natin. So that was represented by B. So that was face width. Okay. So that was the basic parts of the clutch assembly. Lagi lang tatandaan na uh, yan, connect, clutches connect and disconnect to rotating shafts. So these two types of clutches uh, way, uh, was numerically functioned by using two methods of formula. That was the uniform pressure method. Ilang kalitang lang itong tinta ulit. And the uniform wear method. So makikita natin sa mga susunod na slide. Okay. So this is our first type of clutch, which is the disc plate clutch. Again, you have the two rotating shafts, the driving shaft and the driven shaft. Ayun yung isang pares ng clutch na may spring, may susi dyan, and may face width. So uh, stop ka na lang or pause mo na lang sa first slide. Ito. Do, para dun sa mga parts. So syempre, as a graduate engineer or reviewing engineer, alam na yan. So, of course, unahin muna natin si uniform pressure method. So, kapag usapang clutch, guys, expect na ang laging itatanong is either torque, this F or the actual force. And syempre, kapag may torque, andyan na yung power. No? So, ayan. Yan yung mga karanyang itatanong sa clutch. The torque, the actual force, and the power. So, unay mo natin torque transmitted by clutch. Of course, this is uh, rotating shaft issue na naman. 
Siyempre, may speed yan. And of course, may torque yan. So, torque has a formula of torque is equal to F, which is the actual force, multiplied by F, which is the coefficient of friction between contacting surfaces. And of course, D and the small d was the small diameter and the big diameter. So, uh, engineer HB, saan po ba dyan yung small diameter at saka big diameter? So, sa mga board exam problem naman, passboard sa mga clutches, on the problem, the small and big diameter are already stated. Pero for this presentation, I will show that this... Sorry for my line. <laughs> so, medyo paleng, no? Ayan. So, this is the large diameter. And of course, this is the small diameter. So, sa shop ko na yung maidodrawing, pero hindi yun yung shop mismo. It was the clutch. Siyempre, ibang usapan pa rin yung shop. So, that was the capital D, the big diameter, and this D is the inside or the small diameter. So, ito naman yung magiging face width, which is ito. Of course, our face width, kitang, obviously, kitang kita naman, that was the difference of the two diameter, the capital D and the small d, or the outside or the inside diameter, the difference of the outside inside diameter divided by 2. Or B plus D na small plus B is equal to D. So, magiging, makikita mo naman yan dito pag pinag-transpose mo yan. So, okay. So, that was the torque transmitted by clutch. Torque is equal to F or actual force times the coefficient of friction times one-third times D cube minus D cube na maliit over D squared minus D squared. Of course, laging nauna yung capital D dito at capital D dito. So, madali naman matandaan, guys, this uh, numerator naka-cube yung difference nila at dito naman naka-squared yung difference nila. So, pag may tanong sa board exam na ano daw yung fric friction radius, so, ang fric friction radius ay itong one-third D cube minus D cube over D squared minus D squared. And of course, multiply by NFS, which is the number of friction surfaces. So, meron tayong formula na number of friction surfaces is equal to number of plates minus 1. Kasi ito yung, kung makikita nyo, meron dyan clutches, ay meron dyan clutch, na sabi ko kanina isang pares, may mga tanong kasi minsan na multiple clutches. Minsan inaabot ng 16, 17. So, meron tayong formula na number of friction surfaces is equal to number of the plates minus 1. Kung ang number of plates ay 17, Ibig sabihin, ang number of friction surfaces ay this is a is kasi by pair ang bilang. Kagaya ng nasa picture, that was only a one pair. Kapag nagdagdag pa ako dyan ng isang plate, that, was, that will become three. And syempre, magiging two pairs na siya. Kasi nga, NFS is equal to NP minus one. So the actual force, syempre, laging may actual force needed to engage the clutch represented by capital F. F is equal to P, what is that P? Small p, that was the pressure developed at the surface of the disc or plate times pi over 4 d squared minus d squared. So in order for us to memorize this easily, this formula, just uh, remember the pressure is equal to force over area and just assume that this is a hollow circular tube. So that will become F is equal to pi over 4 D squared minus D squared. Alam naman natin na area ng hollow, is pi, ng hollow circular tube is pi over 4 times D squared minus D squared. So uh, cross multiply that will become F is equal to P times pi over 4 D squared minus D squared. So ganong kadaling tandaan ang uniform pressure method. So dito ka lang medyo magkakagulo. Pero lagi mo lang isipin that the numerator cube yung difference nila and the denominator square mo lang difference nila times one third that was your friction radius and of course alam naman natin na torque is equal to force times radius so just multiply it by this F or coefficient friction and this R is the friction radius so kabisaduin mo lang itong nasa bracket and of course multiply by friction surfaces okay so we have also the face width here no, na discuss ko na kanina. That is the difference of the diameters divided by 2.
Of course, using uniform wear method naman. So torque is equal to axial force times coefficient of friction times D. Uh, sum of the two diameters divided by four times. And so mas padaling tandaan kapag uniform wear method. Pero guys, this is the trick here. When I will use the uniform pressure at the uniform wear, wear method. Kapag walang sinabi kung anong method ang gagamitin, use the UPM. Pero kapag nakakita kayo ng word na mean diameter or average diameter sa problem, matik use the uniform wear method. Why? Because we can... Uh, rewrite this formula by actual force times coefficient of friction times one half times the average of the two diameters. Tama, kasi one half times one half is one fourth times d plus d. And pwede ko siyang paghiwalain. Bakit? Kasi nga nasabi ko kanina na ang problem minsan nagtatanong at may given na mean diameter or average diameter. Kapag nakita kayo ng mean diameter sa problem, huwag na huwag nyo na agad gagamitin yung UPM kasi may mga cube yun. So, ito kasi pwede mo na i-factor out agad yung 1 half dito sa 1 fourth para mahati siya into 1 half times D plus D over 2. Kasi D plus D over 2 is the mean diameter or average diameter. So, that was the torque transmitted by clutch. And, syempre, this is your friction radius. Friction radius. And of course, my torque, my actual force then sa uniform wear method, that was F is equal to pi times P max or maximum pressure developed at the surface of the disc or plate times D over 2 times the difference of the two diameters. Or para mas madali mong matandaan, that was pi times P or pressure times the small d or multiply by the half of the difference of the two diameter. So kung dito mandaling tandaan sa torque, dito naman medyo ma, uh, kabisaduhin mo lang. No? F is equal to pi times maximum pressure times d over 2 times d minus d. Okay? Of course, dako tayo sa cone clutch. And as you can see guys, uh, parehas na parehas yung formula ang pinag-aiba lamang ay may sine alpha. At ano ali yung alpha na yan? So, as I said earlier on the first slide, ang pinag-aiba ng cone clutch sa this clutch is ito may angle. So, ganun kasimple lang. Okay. So, ayan. So, yan yung sine alpha na nakikita natin. So, as you can see, d cube minus d cube over d squared minus d squared uli dito. Pagkaiba lamang, i-divide mo yung torque by sine alpha. So, nandiyan pa rin yung force, yung actual force, yung coefficient of friction, at pati yung number of friction surfaces. Okay? And syempre, si actual force, ganun pa rin. Hindi mo na kailangan divide ng sine alpha kasi may sine alpha kanina. May sine alpha ka na rito. And of course, P pressure, coefficient of friction, yung F. And this is, alpha is our cone angle. Minsan given, minsan ko computein mo pa. Basta given yung dalawang diameters, no problem. Makukuha mo yan. And of course, B is equal to face width. So, kung kanina, D minus D over 2 lang siya. Ngayon, D minus D over 2 divided by sine alpha pa. No, kasi kapag nag-create ka ng triangle dyan, makakreate ka ng formula na mahantong sa B is equal to D minus D over 2 sine alpha. No, using uh, trigonometric identities. So, madali lang matandaan kapag cone clutch, phase width is equal to the half of the difference of the diameter. So, just divide it by sine alpha. And syempre, sa uniform wear method, same pa rin, kagaya pa rin sa uh, disc clutch, nasa ilalim nga lang ulit yung sine alpha, present pa rin yung F, axial force, coefficient of friction, of course, the two diameters and the number of friction surfaces. And syempre, actual force natin ulit. Needed to engage the, engage the clutch. So, ganun pa rin. Kagaya ulit sa uniform wear method ng disc clutch. So, no need to divide it by sine alpha kasi na-divide na sa torque. And again, syempre, andyan yung pressure develop the surface of the disc or plate or yung Pmax. F is the coefficient of friction. And of course, we have the cone angle and the face width. 
So, dako na tayo. Oh, meron pa pala. So, hiniwalay ko pala dito. So, number of friction surfaces. So, for a multiple disc clutch, as I said earlier, multiply the equation of torque by the number of pairs of friction surfaces, NFS. So, NFS is equal to NP minus 1 and this is the number of plates. Hiniwalay ko nga pala ito kasi hindi nakasya sa slide yung formula na ito. Ang haba rin yung description niya. And of course, the friction power is equal to T times N over K. So, walang kamatayang torque times angular speed or shaft speed divided by the constant. So, alam na natin kung anong constant yan mamaya. And ayun. Proceed tayo sa first question. So, a local utility vehicle production company have considered to use in one of its designs a multi-disc clutch consisting of a nine steel disc and eight bronze discs with effective outside and inside diameter of 220 and 160 millimeters respectively if the shaft turns at 1 500 rpm and an axial force of 600 newton is applied find the horsepower capacity considering a coefficient of friction of 0.25 so Mga sir, ano uli ang gagamiting method dito? Walang sinabi at wala namang din sinabing mean diameter. Of course, rekta ka na agad sa uniform pressure method. But the question is looking for the find the horsepower capacity. Of course, power na naman usapan. Ibig sabihin kailangan ng torque at speed. Saan ba natin makukuha yung torque? So we have a formula of torque for uniform pressure method of uh, actual force times coefficient of friction times the friction radius. So, isa-isayin natin kung may given. Actual force. So, meron tayong actual force na ang sabi, actual force of 600 newtons. Okay. Yan. Siyempre, may NFS. Kagaya ng instruction kanina. Na it will be multiplied on torque. So, isa-isayin mo natin si F na sandaw. Coefficient of friction is ayan, 0.25. Of course, the, uh, the outside diameter ayan, 220. Siyempre, matik ang inside natin ay 160. So, how about our NFS? So, ang NFS natin, we have a total of 9 steel discs and 8 bronze discs, meaning we have a total of uh, rather uh, we have a total of number of plates natin ay 9 plus 8, which is 17 minus 1, we have uh, 16 pairs of uh, number of friction surfaces. No? Kung meron kang tatlong disc, of course, ito yung pares at ito yung pares. Meron kang dalawa. So, parang ganun lang din yan dito. Okay? So, everything is given here. Of course, in order po us to get the power, kailangan itong torque na to. So, power is equal to torque times N multiplied by the constant. So, malaki na tayo <laughs> during our nine, uh, nine chapters na dagdaan or uh, tama, nine chapters na dagdaan, halos Pito ata doon na-discuss itong power na to So, let us not review this anymore. Of course, uh, calc U, torque is equal to 600 Newton. Dito na ako mag-unit analysis, guys. Times 0 0.25 times 1 third 220 cube minus 160 cube divided by... 220 squared minus 160 squared times 16. So that will be... So guys, ang magiging formula, ang unit nito is mm. Kasi mm cube over mm squared is equal to mm na lang. And of course, that was the friction radius. mm to the first degree lang ang unit. So I'll cube guys. 600 times 0 0.25 times 220 cube the minus 2. 160 cube divided by 220 square minus 160 squared divide 3 times 16. So that was 229,894.74 Newton mm. So in order for us to get the power, 
our torque should be in newton mm which is correct ang nakuha natin dito our n should be in rpm and constant of 9.549 times 10 raised to 6 in order for us to get a power of kilowatts and just uh, convert it later para maging horsepower kasi horsepower yung inahanap at nasa choices. So meron tayong torque in Newton mm. Ang inahanap na lang natin is speed which is ang given kanina is the shaft turns daw at 1.5 RPM. So that was 1,500 RPM. So the power is, lagay ko na lang small, ay capital P. So that was 2,29894.74. Newton mm times 1,500 all over 9.549 times 10 raised to 6. And the power is, huwag mo nang burayin yung answer mo kanina sa torque. Divide by 9. 6. So that was uh, 36.11 kilowatts. Burahin ko lang ito. Masyadong paling. No lang tayo ng medyo paling. <laughs> and of course, we have the power in kilowatts. Just convert it on HP, which is in every HP, we have 0 0.746 kilowatts. One horsepower. So the power is equal to 48.41 horsepower. So the answer is... Ayan. Letter A, 48.4 horsepower. Uh, konting pag-iingat lang guys. Kasi may nakuha tayong 36.11 kanina dito. And pag na-excited ka na tignan sa choices kung may lumabas, makikita mo rito ang may 36.1. Pero HP ang, HP ang given na unit sa multiple choice. So please be careful na huwag ma-excite. Kailangan careful ka sa units kasi kilowatts ito yung 36 dito at dito HP. So convert mo muna sa horsepower. Which is the answer is 48.41 horsepower or letter A. Okay, so that was the first sample problem. Dito tayo sa number 2. Determine the power capacity of cone clutch under uniform pressure. So ito sinabi. Under uniform pressure pero cone clutch, big sabihin, Again, pinagkaiba ng cone clutch sa disc clutch. Meron siyang angle. Ang disc clutch wala. With the following operating data, major diameter of 250 mm, minor diameter of 200 mm, length of conical elements in contact. Pag sinabing length of ele conical elements in contact, that was the phase width. Rotational speed, 870 rpm. Coefficient of friction is 0.3. And allowable pressure of 70 kilopascal. So almost of the details are given. Malapit na, mag-direct sub na lang ito. Pero tingnan pa rin natin. So, the question again is looking for the power capacity. So, the power capacity again is equal to torque multiplied by the speed divided by constant. Whether it's a metric or HP, syempre, alam natin kung anong constant yun. And syempre, may given na, uh, kailangan napin mo natin yung torque. And the formula for uniform pressure ng cone clutch sa torque is uh, kagaya din sa disc clutch, pinagkaiba, divide mo lang ng sin alpha yung ilalim. Okay? So, ano-ano nga ba yung mga given? Meron tayong capital D, which is the 250. Our minor diameter is 200. Length of conical elements is 125 mm. Coefficient friction dito, 0.3. And allowable pressure of 70 kPa. So, we are looking for this Axial force and this angle kasi hindi sila given. Pero given yung phase width which is ang sabi, length of conical elements in contact that was 125 mm. And syempre, mamaya natin kunin yung axial force. So that was the, con the length of conical elements or the phase width is D minus D, so that was 250 minus 200 divided by 2 sine alpha. So our B is 125. So direct sub mo lang sa calculator, ship solve. And we're going to have iconic our sine angle of 250 minus 200 divided by 2. Divide ng 125, 
arc sign mo yun, and you will have an 11.54 degrees of angle. So checkmate na to. And currently, we're looking only na lang for the actual force, which has this formula. F is equal to uh, pressure times pi over 4 times d squared minus d squared, or just uh, pressure times an area of a hollow circular tube, which is hindi na kailangan multiply or divide ng angle kasi nga meron na yung torque dito. So again, actual force is... Look guys, the unit given here is 70 kilopascals and we all know that millimeter yung given sa mga diameters and we all know that kilopascal is kilonewton per meter squared. So parang di na tayo mag-convert nito into meter tapos convert yung kilonewton sa newton. Yung kilopascal just convert agad sa pascals. Ay sa megapascal which is we all know that 1,000 kilopascal is equal to 1 mega. Pascal. So, ito ay magiging divide 1,000. So, 70 divide 1,000, that was 0 0.07 megapascals. That was 0 0.07 megapascals or newton times mm square, newton per mm square times pi over 4 times 250 squared minus 200 squared. So, that was mm squared. So cancel, cancel, and we have a newton here. So that was times 0 0.25 pi times 250 squared minus 200 squared. And the answer is 1, 2, 3, 7 newton. So checkmate na si F. And we're going to substitute it directly. So that was 1, 2, 3, 7 newtons times 0.3. Divided by sine alpha, sine 11.54 degrees times one third or times the friction radius. So that was 250 cube minus 200 cube divided by 250 squared minus 200 squared. So, sanchi na medyo mi na ang bosses. So 1, 2, 3, 7 times 0.3 divided by sine 11.54 times 250 cube minus 200 cube times 250 squared minus 200 squared times one third. So that was 209,548, 65 newton. This is mm, kanina. Newton, mm. So perfect. For the power kasi in order for us to have a power in kilowatts, sakto ang choices is kilowatts. We need to have a torque of newton mm and rpm of speed. So, kunin natin yung power. So, ang power is 209,548.65. So, walang number of friction surfaces naman na sinabi. Times speed which is ang sabi 8. Rotational speed of 870 RPM. So this is RPM, Newton, mm. And of course, the constant is 9.5.9 times 10 raised to 6 in order for us to have a power in kilowatts. So times 870 divided by 9.5.9 divided 10 raised to 6. So the answer is 19.1 kilowatts. So the answer is closest to... Ayan, ingat din dito guys. Sala sa labat ang figure. Kung baga pinagrambol-rambol lang. Minsan sa isang... Tingin natin uun ng iglap. Natutuwa tayo kasi nakuha yung answer pero nalito tayo. Kasi yung digits ni rambol lang. Okay, but the answer is ayan, 19 point kilowatts and closest to A. 19.2 kilowatts. So the answer is A. Okay, so we have already two items. So how about this one third item? A cone clutch is to transmit 30 kilowatts at 1 to 50 RPM. The face angle of a cone clutch is 12.5 degrees. And the mean diameter is to be 355 mm. The coefficient of friction between the contacting surface is 0.2. And the maximum normal pressure is 83 kilopascal rather. Determine the actual force in kilonewton required to transmit the power. 
So, may diniinan akong word which is the word mean diameter. Meaning, matic use the uniform wear method. Okay, so the formula for the torque. Ay, ano nga muna palang inaanap. So, ang inaanap is determine the axial force. Of course, sa torque, makikita natin agad dito na pwedeng kunin ang axial force basta given itong coefficient ng friction, ang angle mo, ang outside and inside diameter. And let us see kung given nga ba. So, ang sabi, we are looking for the axial force. No? And dapat given din ang torque in order for us to get this axial force. So, saan natin kikunin ang torque? So, ang sabi kanina sa first sentence, a cone clutch is to transmit 30 kilowatts. So, we have this formula. So, 30 kilowatts is equal to torque. Dapat newton mm to. Ang N should be in RPM, which is ang sabi, 1,250 RPM. And of course, a constant of 9.549 times 10 raised to 6 in order for us to get the torque. And of course, the answer is 30 times 9.549 times 10 raised to 6 divided by 1 to 50. So that was 229,176 Newton mm. So meron na tayong torque. Sakto, actual force na lang hanap. So paklaat sa Cal Q, lalabas ang actual force in Newton. And divide na lang natin 1,000 kasi ang hinahanap is actual force in kilonewton. O isa-isay natin, 229176 Newton mm is equal to F or actual force multiplied by the coefficient of friction. Ang sabi kanina rito, the coefficient of friction between the contacting surface is 0.2 and assign phase angle up. Hmm, ang sabi, the phase angle of point clutch is 12.5 degrees. Siya lang may nag-iisang degrees dyan din. And of course, ang given is a mean diameter, 355 mm. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin paghiwalayin itong d plus d over 4 into 1 half times d plus d over 2 or 1 half times mean diameter. So that was 1 half times mean diameter. So that was 355 mm. So Newton mm to, mm to, answer lang mm. Expect that F in Newton. So that was 229176 times sine of 12.5 degrees times 2 divide 0 0.2 divide 355 mm. The answer is 1 point. Uh, the answer is 1397. 1397.26 Newtons. Okay, wait lang. May ko ang lang ulit. Just to be sure. Okay, 137. Okay. One, three, the answer is 1397.26. And of course, 1000 newton is equal to 1 kilonewton. The answer should be in kilonewton. So just divide it by 1000. That was. 1.397 kilonewton and of course that was closest to 1.4 kilonewton. So the answer is N. The answer is letter A. Okay. The answer is letter A. So tatlong letter A na, no? Sana ganyan sa board, no? Sunod-sunod letter A. <laughs> Kaso, mapapa nga nga ka kung totoo nga ba, eh, no? Pero of course, mas mainam pa rin yung nag-review, di ba? Eh, hey, mayroon pala akong formula ang nilagay dyan. Hindi <laughs> ko na lang na alalang may nilagay pala dyan. Pero that was the, ano, yung pinag-iwalay ko yung 1 port D plus D into 1 half times D plus D over 2. Okay? So, ayan. Last item, pero 3 ang questions. Or 3 ang question na laman. So, this is a password exam problem. Uh, Pajero Jeep. Wagon's engine develop 40 kilowatts at 1 to RPM with a single plate clutch having two pairs of friction surfaces transmitting the power. Consider the coefficient of friction to be 0.3 and the mean diameter 
of the disks to be 200 mm. First question of this number four item determine the actual force required to engage the clutch and to transmit the power. Okay, so nakita mo na naman yung mean diameter. Use immediately the uniform wear method. To determine the actual force required to engage the clutch and to transmit the power. Okay, so how are we going to do this one? So meron tayong formula na torque pag UWM. And this is not as this is not a cone clutch. This is a uh you call that a disc or plate clutch kasi wala mang given na angle. So this is a flat. Uh, so our torque Lagay ko na yung formula ng torque is uh, actual force times coefficient of friction times one fourth over i one fourth times d plus d or kapag given ang mean diameter that was f times coefficient of friction times d one half times d mean diameter okay so inexplain ko na kanina saan galing yan so in order for us to get this actual force, we should get the coefficient of friction and this outside and inside diameter and of course the torque. But the thing is, syempre walang given na smaller inside kasi nga meron ng given na mean diameter. So ito na lang hanapin natin. Of course, ang F given na nakalagay kanina, consider the coefficient of friction to be 0.3. So how are we going to get this torque? So meron tayo ditong 40 kilowatts at 1 to RPM and we all know that Power is equal to torque times speed over k. So, pwede na natin erecta, no? That, sige na, lagay natin. Si torque is equal to power times constant divided by RPM. So, that was 40 kilowatts. Ang constant natin is 9.549, 10 raised to 6. And, of course, our speed here should be in RPM. Perfect. Ang given is 1,200 RPM. So, uh, let us expect that power, uh, no, 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 the torque. Let us expect that torque is in Newton mm. So that was 40 kilowatts times 9.549 times range, 10 raised to 6. Ayun lang, divided by 1, 2. So that was 318,300 Newton mm. At pwede natin makuha dito yung Actual force times 0.3 times mean diameter of 200. Of course, divide 2. Ito yan. So, our actual force should be in Newton. So, divide na lang natin sa 1,000 mamaya. So, that was 318,300 times 2 divided by 0.3 divided by 200. Tama ba? 1, 4, 3 plus 3. 180,300. So, the mean diameter of the discs is to be 200 mm. Tama ba guys? Wait lang. One half 200. Is equal to ah okay so i forget the number of friction surfaces sorry guys na so ang sabi dito number of friction surfaces is equal to uh with a single plate clutch having two pairs of friction surfaces so matic hindi ka na magma minus 1 kasi nakalagay na agad having two pairs of friction surfaces not two pairs of clutch, but two pairs of friction surfaces. Meaning, tatlo ang clutch mo dyan. Tatlong piraso ng clutch, pero ang number of friction surfaces should be 3 minus 1, kaya naging two pairs yan. So, kanina, dapat meron na tayo dito. NFS. Or dito. NFS. Yan, sa dulo na. Okay, so, 318,300 times 2. Divide by 3, divide by 200, and divide 2. So that was 5305 newtons. Or divide mo lang ng 1,000. That was 
0.05 kilonewton. And the closest answer is, of course, obviously, letter A again. Okay, dako tayo sa second item. Determine the inside diameter of the disk if the lining pressure is limited to 200 kilopascal. Given na 200 kilopascal ang lining pressure, kagaya yung ginawa natin kanina, convert natin agad ito sa megapascal and we all know that 1,000 kilopascal is equal to 1 megapascal. Just divide it by 1,000 para maging megapascal. Kaya natin ito ginagawa kasi nga naka-MM yung mga given at para niya tayo mag-convert ng sandamuol na conversion sa dulo, convert na agad natin ito sa megapascal because it is also equivalent to 0 0.2 newton per square millimeter. Okay, so determine the inside diameter of the disks kasi nga ang given ay average lang. So we may get the inside diameter and the outside diameter kagaya ng tanong dito sa pangatlo. So isa, uh, dalawa equation ang kailangan natin, I think. Tama, tama. So determine the inside here and determine the outside here. <coughs> so buying lang tayo konti. So ayan, sa natin kukunin. So meron tayong uh, HL force na nakuha which is 5305 Newton and we all know that formula for the uniform wear method for the HL force is equal to uh, maximum pressure times uh, pi over 2 times small d times the difference of two diameters. And syempre meron tayong 5,305 newtons is equal to 0 0.2 megapascal or newton per mm squared times pi over 2 times small d times the difference of small diameter. So this is an uh, unit of power 1 and unit of power 1. So this tandem is the unit of power 2. So that will become mm squared. So canceling mm squared, canceling newton. Big sabihin, tama yung mga units natin and expect that the answer should be in millimeters. Kagaya nung nasa choices. So meron na tayong second, uh, first equation. Pero ipunin muna natin yung constant na to. Ipunin muna natin yung mga constant na to. Okay. Ayan, ipunin muna natin yan. So that will become 5305 divided by 0.2 times 2 divided by, so that was 16,886 is equal to D times D minus D. So are we going to get the two values, which is for Outside and inside diameter. Remember, guys, that meron pa tayong isang bala. We all know that the mean diameter or the average of two diameters is 200. So meaning, D plus small d is equal to 400. And we may uh, transpose this one. So that will become... Uh, daanin na lang natin sa capital D para mas konti yung isa-substitute. So that was 400 minus small diameter. So pwede natin salpak doon. So that was 16,886 is equal to D times D. O salpak na natin si 400. So magiging 400 minus 2D na siya. Kasi 400 minus D minus D. So that was 400 minus 2D. So pwede mo nang ship solve or you may use the mode setup. No? The mode uh, 5.3. Kaso isa-isa mo pa yan. Pwede mo namang i-input na agad yan sa ship sold. So that was 16,886 is equal to x times 400 minus 2x. Let us substitute the x with this small diameter d. So ship sold, maglagay ka ng value ayon sa mga given choices. Kung 139 yan, pataas. So let us say 150. No? So yun, lumabas ang sagot. Ganun lang guys kapag mag-ship sold kayo at malalak at alam nyo ang, ang equation involves a second degree or a third degree, just look at the choices kung ano yung pwede nyo i-input na amount. Hindi nyo naman kailangan sakto ilagay yung A or B or C or D. Basta kung nyo yung average nyan, mabilis ang tingin lang. 113 yan, di pick 140 or 150 whatsoever. So eto nga, lumabas agad yung sagot. So the small D or the inside diameter is 100 and 
mm which is obviously letter a na naman and of course para tayong formula kanina dito na d is equal to 400 minus the small d or 400 minus 139.46 so that was 260.54 m so letter a to kanina ito naman ay pilang malapit ayan 260.5 m letter a again so para wag makampanya uh, guys ah nakapag-clutches for letter A sagot. So nagkataon lang na yung kinuha natin ng tanong ay nasa letter A lahat ng choices. So ayun guys, that's enough for today for this clutch uh, review. And ang susunod na nga natin ay maybe brakes or flywheel, tas ano naman flexible power transmitting elements, tas ang huli natin uh, welded joints and rivets. So, and I hope sana mag-appear to sa board no? para kahit paano na pagdaanan na natin. And guys, salamat sa pakiinig and I hope marami kayo natutunan. So good luck sa inyong review. Malapit na ang board. And please, uh, konting favor lang. Uh, do like my Facebook page derived na sa uh, description yan. And of course, please subscribe to my channel for more updates and for more engineering videos, especially on this machine design. And guys, uh, good luck and God bless and review. Bye-bye.